The Planet Without Pronouns by Justin McCory Martin. This book is about pronouns. It's another book in the Grammar Tale series. So while we're reading this book, I want you to pay attention to the pronouns in this story. In my classroom, when we find nouns, we color them blue. When we find verbs, we color them green. We color adjectives yellow. We color adverbs orange. We color prepositions red. And I don't have a book on prepositions, I'm sorry. And we color pronouns purple. So keep an eye out for some purple pronouns. When we finish learning about all these parts of speech, by the end of the school year, we have rainbow colored sentences. So see if you can find the pronouns in this book. Stanley Sharpleton was an amazing kid. First, he built his very own spaceship. Then he took it for a little spin. He zoomed past Jupiter and Saturn and Pluto. In fact, he kept right on rocketing until he reached a far off purple planet called Crimular. Stanley slipped on his gravity defying sneakers and hurried down the space ladder. He'd done it! He'd landed on planet Crimular and he couldn't wait to explore. After walking a while, he reached a city. Aha! Uh -huh. Just as he had suspected, there was life on Crimular. But something about this planet was very, very strange. Stanley just couldn't quite figure out what it was. Suddenly, Stanley felt a tap on his shoulder. He whirled around. Greetings, Earthling said a bright green creature with several arms. Zick is named Zick. Tell Zick the name used to call the earthling. Stanley told Zick his name. Zick is glad to meet Stanley, said Zick. Stanley and Zick can be friends. Zick will show Stanley around Crimular said Zick. Look, Zick sees a Grugulak. Stanley looked where Zick pointed and saw a strange and beautiful animal. Shh, said Zick. Stanley and Zick must not startle the Grugulak. Suddenly, Stanley knew what was strange about Cremular. Zick didn't use pronouns. In fact, there were no pronouns to be found on the entire planet. Stanley was happy to have met Zick. Without pronouns though, it sure was going to be hard to communicate with his new friend. Your planet is so amazing, said Stanley, but you could describe it even better if you used pronouns. Would you like to learn more about them? When Zick nodded enthusiastically, Stanley pulled a collapsible space blackboard from his back pocket. Pronouns are small words such as I, you, me, her, or them, explained Stanley. They are used in place of nouns to make sentences simpler. Think of them as shortcut words. For example, instead of saying Zick sees a Grugulak, you could say, I see a Grugulak. When the lesson was done, Zick said, I have processed the concept of pronouns and will master it shortly. Boy, you learn quickly, replied Stanley. Not only do I have six hands, I also have six brains, remarked Zick. Now, let's tour the rest of the planet. Zick showed Stanley a huge volcano that spewed pink and green smoke and big bouncy balls with fancy patterns. Take a look at the volcano, said Zick. The volcano erupts every day. Correction. It erupts every day. I got so excited that I almost forgot to use pronouns.
Just then, it started to snow. Even though the weather was very warm, Zick darted about, catching the flakes in his mouth. Zick loves snow. Correction. I love snow. Gee, pronouns do make things easier. Stanley caught a flake on his tongue. It tasted like watermelon. He caught another. It tasted like a hot dog. He caught another. It tasted like pizza. This one is the best, he said. Zick then replied, Stanley's favorite flavor is pizza, and so is Zick's. Correction. Your favorite flavor is pizza, and so is mine. At last, it was time for Stanley to return to Earth. Thanks for teaching me all about pronouns. They sure come in handy, said Zick. Thanks for showing me all around Kremular. It's really out of this world, exclaimed Stanley. Next, Stanley gave Zick a farewell gift. It was his latest invention, an intergalactic cell phone. This will help us keep in touch, he said. Wow, thanks, Stanley, replied Zick. Correction, thank you. I like it almost as much as I like pronouns. Back on Earth, Stanley got a call from Zick. Is it all right if my family and I come for a visit, he asked. Sure, you can stay in our guest room, said Stanley. Perfect, responded Zick. Ex expect us Thursday. Me, my parents, and my 2,978 brothers and sisters. I told them all about pronouns and they each won a lesson.